Good morning from Pop Century Day three, four. Um, we are tired today. I think it's finally all like catching up with us, but we're actually going to try to get an Uber over to Old Key West to eat at Olivia's Cafe. None of us have ever eaten there. And so really the easiest way to get from one resort to another Disney resort is by Uber. The other option though would be to like take a bus to like a park or to Disney Springs and then catch a bus there to the other resort. It's a lot of, if you have the time and you want to save money, you definitely can. But especially with her and folding up the stroller back and forth and this that, and the other, I'm like, again, this is a time it's worth the money to, to just get the Uber. So we're going to leave here in about like five or 10 minutes and hopefully be able to get an Uber with a car seat again. Sometimes it can be a little tricky finding one actually available. So I really have my fingers crossed. But um, yeah, that is the plan for today and drinking a lot of water because it is so hot and you just really feel the effects when you don't drink enough water, you really do. Also, we tried the in-room coffee yeah. today and I had some like half and half for my grocery order and it was, it's just not as strong. So, you know, we gave it a go <laughs> again, but I'm laughing because the state of our room <laughs> is crazy right now. Oh my gosh. I just realized we haven't had to walk by the buses because we haven't taken any yet. Because so far, the places we've gone, we've used the Skyliner. But now, later today, we'll definitely be using a bus for like Disney Springs and stuff. So that'll be nice. But it's kind of crazy that we've been here a couple days and we haven't had to use them yet. Alrighty, we made it. It's really pretty here. Unbelievably, the decade plus that we've been coming here. Never took foot. Not once. It's like the Never. only resort I think that we haven't ever. So we're gonna have breakfast here. I think that this is only two resorts we haven't even stayed in. So not even have we not just stayed here, we've never even walked over here. It's very pretty. I didn't know what it was. I thought it might have been like the Hilton This is so beautiful. Olivia's. I think these are like their DVC members because it's a big DVC resort, Disney Vacation Club. All right, we ordered our coffees. That's all. I branched out and got a cappuccino. Whoa, <laughs> oh. fancy pants over here. <laughs> Didn't know you were doing that well. <laughs> <laughs> living, living large. Ah, this is the view though. Isn't that pretty? Mm. And it's then this is their breeze. view. Going that way. <laughs> It was. Oh my goodness. So I got the Olivia's breakfast. It looks so yummy. Tyler and Benita both got the sombrero omelet. Kind of like a Southwestern, right? Yeah. Ish. Yeah, it's got yeah some pico de gallo on top. And I'm not even sure. I can't remember what all it came with, but it sounded really good. So it? yummy. Those, I was like, oh baby, that looks good. finished up our breakfast, which was right outside there. And now we're in Conch Flats, I think is the name of the gift shop here at Old Key West. Just kind of, I know, I really like that hat. I like I that it's like kind of subtle and, yeah. 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 Very nice. A little gift shop here. Do you see a bus? Yeah. <laughs> Shouting it across the store. This is a nice little gift shop. pool here at Old Key West is pretty sweet and it has a sauna over there. I'm pretty sure this is the only place on property that has a sauna, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, come on, look at that. How sweet is that? That slide coming down. That is awesome. How cute. So behind the like water slide, they have this play area. There's like actual sand kids can play in and then all this cute surrounding Decor, that's so cute. So this is one of our favorite shops here, Sugar Boo and Co. It's my favorite shop in all of Disney Springs. It's your favorite in all of Disney? All of Disney Springs. <laughs> oh, all of Disney Springs, wow. It's got some cool stuff. Well, I bought Tyler some uh, Christmas gifts. 
a couple years ago here so and he cool liked things. yeah it's just kind of unique yeah I've got some cool books in here. Like they have this travel home, which is like uh, decorating with a global flair and the bucket list. Just cool books and stuff like that. And just a lot of uh, literature quotes on different walls and stuff. If I had a nickel for every time I was sitting at home with that, gosh, I really need a magnifying glass right now. <laughs> cool, that is a neat I one. I want one and I will never use it. Yeah. <laughs> We're in Uniqlo. One of our favorite stores. We vlog in here every time we're here, of course. <laughs> what are we getting this time? I'm getting stuff for our friend's baby because their baby shower is like really soon after we go back. I don't want to show up, but it's very cute. <laughs> well, they would already, they'd already have it. Look how cute these are. <laughs> Little baby boy. Yeah, by the time I this goes just... up, they'll already have them. So yeah. <laughs> they'll know. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm getting these t-shirts. They're just like normal t-shirts, but they're seven bucks. You can't beat that deal. Well, but they're and they're really, really uh, lightweight. Yeah. Because so the, the shirt I'm wearing today, even like this material is just like super thick and in the Florida heat, it makes a big difference. It's hot. Yeah. Also, have you seen my shirt today? <laughs> Disney dads, Disney dads, hold on. It's, yeah. All right, how sweet is that? I don't know if I've actually been on camera yet today. Isn't that sweet? That's Love awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've stopped at like this little dockside place here that's kind of shady and breezy. I got a strawberry freeze, it's like a smoothie. Kind of, you know, it's really tasty and Gigi was liking it too. So we're just relaxing and uh, Benita's FaceTime and Jason, Tyler's brother. And it's just nice. It's, it's definitely hot, but we were in Uniqlo and I was like, I think we should like stop for a little bit when we're done here and just sit for 30 minutes and it just, it's really, it's time. When we were here, uh, when Gigi was like six months old, eight months old, I don't even know, she was very young. I think we came here and there was a live musician playing here and I remember dancing, sitting over here with Junior Tony a little bit, but Gigi. You're so cute. I can't even do this with a straight face, which is fine because you can't see my face. So we're looking at all the artwork, right? Cool. Uh, Artwork. Got, you got some. You got some tangled. You got some Alice. You got some cocoa. All, all great. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> the rescuer. Is... <laughs> Who has that? I love it so much. It is the greatest piece of artwork I've ever I seen. I want to know who's world. buying it because that they'd probably be our friends. That's incredible. She's the bad, the bad person. Yeah, the from villain, from the rescuers. I said, I said it looks like Miss Hannigan from Annie, and that's genuinely <laughs> yeah. who I thought it was. I pointed to it and just said, oh, Miss Hannigan. Like, why in the world would it be Miss Hannigan? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Easy street. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Oh, my gosh. Kitchen Cabaret. Old school. We've never even seen that one. Only in... It was back in the 80s. It's all folklore <laughs> to us, baby. These are cool. <laughs> Tyler has a bunch of retro posters that office, you're hanging yeah. in your office. Yeah. And, uh, oh, baby. These are really neat might need to get some we love the co-op area everything's so cute my favorite is the kitchen area i want one of like i do think it used everything. to be a little bit more unique and i really liked that it was like a unique stuff you could only find here and there is still i think they're sort of going back to that at this point because when we used to come here when it everything first was very opened unique. this area there was nothing that you could find like elsewhere which is very cool then they kind of made it just another Disney store, which is fine, but there was just the stuff you find at every Disney store you go to. Now they're, now they're kind of going end. back to stuff you can only find here, which is awesome because why go into a gift shop if you can just go to the World of Disney one time and get every, you never need. Yeah, so it's nice like to have some specialized have some, items. some differentiation between gift shops, and I think they're getting back to that. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're about to head in, into the like main World of Disney store. A lot of times there is a huge line Right now, there's not, which is great. But it's, you know, we've heard of like an hour and a half, two hour long, like waits. It's crazy. These tiny little bags are so freaking cute. I don't need it, but they're adorable. And this is like a newer color. I think they just launched. Kind of this lighter. I know it does look like a nice minty, minty color. They have some of the cutest Disney dog and cat things. I can't stop being drawn to them. But I already have the rain jacket. I don't need anything else. That's cute, too. That's my favorite. I gotta admit, my, this might be happening. That's actually Indeed. the style oh, of... come on. That's so cool. It looks... Oh, that's so cool. But this looks like um, the kind of water bottle you like, too. Like the and swell kind of... It does. And also, this is like the Mickey I grew up with, so... Oh, yeah. They know who they're catering to, and it's... It's Tyler. I also really need, need, I, I would say one, but I'm, I, do, I don't, I need this mug that says dad. So cute. Ooh, the back. So that good. That is the awesome. Disney World. Yeah, show me the other side again. It's like, yeah, all the park icons. 
Weenies. Weenies. L7 Weenies. <laughs> Your little train. All right, we got a few things at uh, the Disney store here. Very cute little purse. It's like a pencil case, and I'm gonna use it for. We got, some, we got something for Gigi, right? Gigi. Because you've been, she's been such a trooper while we've been shopping, which is so boring for her. <laughs> got her a little slap, slap bracelet. bracelet. I was gonna buy, I was gonna buy a pride hat. It had like the the rainbow colors on it, but it didn't look right on my head. My mom and Jessica both said. It just doesn't look right, and so I'm gonna find something else, Pride, because it's June and obviously Pride. But I'm like, I really like the hat. The hat itself was really cool, but apparently didn't look good on my head, so I gotta find something else. Ready? All right, we're going to Chicken Guy for lunch. Uh, and fun quick story, Chicken Guy is Guy Fieri's restaurant here in Disney Springs. And for the longest time I was like, oh my gosh, Guy Fieri, he's such a doofus. Like, he's such a, like a, an, an icon of, doofus culture, right? And then the Super Bowl came to Indianapolis and I was working at a hotel at the time. And he happened to be staying in my hotel and he was genuinely the nicest guy I ever met in my entire life. He is so genuine. The, per the Who he portrays in TV is exactly who he is. He is the nicest guy I've ever met in my entire life. And he literally, <laughs> at one point, there's these two girls in the lobby of the hotel and he's walking by and he's like, hey, can we take your picture? And so he took the picture. He like grabs the phone and takes the picture, and then walks away. I'm like, they, these two, they had no idea these two girls like had no idea that Guy guess. Fieri just took their picture. Anyway, he was genuinely the most humble, nicest guy I've ever met. And then I've watched so many like things about him, like at the CBS Sunday Morning Show and all that since then. And he is such an awesome, awesome guy. He does so much for the service industry and so much for uh, people who work in restaurants. You know, especially during the pandemic, he did such a great job. I mean, he he's just an awesome guy. So he went from being this guy. I'm like, oh my gosh, he wears the sunglasses in the back of his head. He's such a doofus. To being like, I am genuinely obsessed with oh, Guy Fieri. Really he's the coolest guy I've ever seen in my life. So we got a bunch of chicken, basically, and fries. Very good. We all got like different sauces. There's so many different sauce choices. What did you get? I got the, uh, the special sauce and I got, I also got the uh, donkey sauce, which I don't think I got. I think I got the uh, Chipotle ranch, which is fine. They're both delicious. You said you like the Chipotle mayo. No, Chipotle ranch. I Chipotle say. ranch. Yeah. Uh, I like the uh, special sauce. I like that too. The They're best. That was silly. my favorite. You got a couple different sauces. What did you I like? Did. I got one called avocado crema. And <laughs> uh, human lime mojo. Ooh, what was your they favorite? They're both good, but I went ahead and mixed them because they're all both green. So I mixed them. <laughs> it's really good put together. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. yeah oh my gosh, I, I wasn't even hungry and I tore that stuff apart. I was hungry. I was fantastic. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, leave it to Guy Fieri. He's the best. And it was fast too. I it was very fast. Yeah. Real lunch hour stuff because it's like two thirty. Yeah. Well, almost three. Oh, that was so. Sure the chicken itself, I could have eaten it with no sauce, which is saying something because I love sauces. I could have eaten that chicken by itself. Yeah. Very, very good. We each got a three piece. One of us. It was delicious. <sighs> well, I was certainly taken down to Flavor Town. How about you guys? <laughs> I went to Flavor Town sure. hard. All right, we're about to get on the buses back to Pop Century. We're going to go to the pool and then maybe take a nap and then come back. Jessica and I have a dining reservation tonight. It's my birthday. So we're gonna go to uh, STK, just the two of us tonight, which for a nice dinner. But I think one of the most frustrating things about the Disney buses is there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 13 buses sitting right here not doing anything that are just on. And then you have to wait a while for your bus to show up. It's like, Pop Century, that was the fastest I've ever seen it. And it's just funny, I'm like, what are they, what are they doing here? Because there's all these buses just sitting here, just just, just awaiting. It's like, hey. And obviously it's a logistical pick, thing, oh, but the, it's frustrating the, when you're in the heat and you're like. The logistics of bus. running the buses here is so daunting to me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even imagine how you would start doing that. But hey, our bus is here. That's good news. <laughs> all right, oh, Monster Gigi. <laughs> she got a towel on her head. So we just spent some time at the pool. Now we're all kind of relaxed and I think we're probably going to head back soon. But Tyler was doing some laundry for all of us, which was great because the laundry was like right there. Not far from our room, not far from the pool we're at. Like it all just worked out so well. So, And it is so hot, as we've said numerous times. You're probably tired of hearing. 
So again, the whoa monster CC. <laughs> oh, there's a monster with a creepy wall. Oh no! Mommy, I'm away. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> There's not enough buses to go around. It's it's crazy. It's a crazy time in Disney right now. Whole point is they have a lot of buses that are third party. Hi. So we're like on a nice coach liner right now. I'm very <laughs> going to Disney Springs. And there was a I felt bad. I mean I didn't feel that bad, but there was a huge long line of people and we walk up to the Disney Springs line and said I got room for two more and they go through the whole line and there's no parties of two. And so as we walk up, we're like we were a party, party of two. two. And so we skipped the whole line. And everyone was so nice. We were oh, like, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. yeah. And so. But we were literally but... about to request a. There we go. We were literally <laughs> about to request a uh, Uber. I had it open. And the I was like, was so okay. Because it was so long. Yeah. But it's my birthday. So I think. Tomorrow. Everyone, uh, tomorrow's my birthday. But Slow we're, down. Jess and I are going out tonight, just the two of us, to celebrate my birthday. And I think yes. that's. I think. Did you arrange that? I assumed. I did. I assumed yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, so I just, I really appreciate you taking the time to get all those actors, probably from the local community theater. Of course. To yes. show to up. To stand in line you and hired dress this as year. Disney tourists. Um, the other thing is, I do have some uh, surprises up my sleeve for your birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow? Don't get too excited. I want you to take your expectations, but your birthday is tomorrow. Oh, they're through the roof now. I'm, I've got, my fantastical mind is all over the place. Well, your mom and I have some surprises up our sleeve. But lower the expectations. So I haven't like actually lot not live, but like actually been on Instagram, not after the fact, in a few days. So we're in Disney. It's awesome. We have a date night tonight. Date night tonight. <laughs> because go get some food. <laughs> because uh, Benita, Tyler's mama, my mother-in-law, is watching Gigi, who we already put down for the night. It's like 7:30 here right now, p.m. Anyway. She's exhausted, so we are going to a nice dinner because Tyler's birthday is tomorrow. He'll be 68. And he looks awesome for my age. He looks great for his age. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go grab a drink at a bar. I feel like us. I feel like us 10 us, years ago. We, we can just go to a bar. Like, I didn't have to bring a go. like diaper bag of any kind. I literally was like, I feel so free. It's unbelievable. <laughs> We're at the cart in front of Jack Lindsay's hangar bar. We were gonna go in, but there was a long wait, and so we have about 30, yeah, 30 minutes before dinner reservation. So we're like, oh, we'll and there's some, there's, there's some live music, music right there. yeah. We'll yeah, so that's what we're doing. I got the uh, Reggie's Revenge, and Tyler got the Marketplace Breeze. Breeze and Reggie. Thank you. Food. We got everything all at once. I got a uh, not your dad's old fashioned cocktail. What'd you get? It was literally called because tequila, which tequila is like my favorite if I'm ordering something. And I was gonna look, I was hoping they had a scotch list because I was gonna get Lagavulin 16 because that's my all time favorite scotch. But I wanted, I, I only have it on like special occasions like my birthday, but they didn't have a scotch list. And I even asked him, he's like, no, we don't have it. So I got that cocktail and he's like, you're gonna really like it. So I'm sure I will. I mean, I haven't met many cocktails I don't like. <laughs> but uh, what else we get? We got oysters on the half shell, which yes. we never order oysters, but we never order them alone. We've yeah. only ordered them with my brother when who lives in Rhode Island and, we were on and the his East wife. Coast. So I'm like, we're and very so, yeah. proud of ourselves. And they're so good, but yeah, we always have they, them with yeah, us. Yeah, they've grown on me. I will say they've grown on me. Uh. Um, but he said East Coast or West Coast. We were like, well, East Coast, because that's all we've tried. And also, so we are on the that. East Coast. Like, anyway. Well. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to do, uh, we've got, I got the syrup and turf, you got a steak. Yeah, I have never I ordered a steak at a restaurant. And the, but it, I could get it with chimichurri, which you made one time, and it was so good, and I'm like, done. So. Yeah, in the 11 years we've known each other, I don't think you've ever ordered a steak. Never, ever. But we I are, think I've eaten a steak probably four times in the 11 years you've known me. When in Rome, we are at STK, so hopefully it's good. All right, we got him, baby. Which is on the half shell. Dun, 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 dun. Jeez. Oh, I was just telling Jessica, this table seems inordinately high. I feel like a little kid. It seems way too high for my like, Can I have some, please? <laughs> All right, 
right? The cocktails are incredible. Did we did we vlog about our oysters? I don't know, but this one I have to say, first drink in how how old am I? 32. So in 11 years that I've ever tried and went. That is a strong no, cocktail. No, no, that I said this is the strongest drink I've ever drank in my life. I, that, it's been like 40 minutes and I've drank that much. Yeah, it, yeah they're it's very, very strong so cocktails. Strong. And they should oh, be at these really prices. Honestly. <laughs> um, anyway, so you got the filet. And I, the chimichurri I was just covering, I tasted one bite. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the uh, the surf and turf and it looks incredible. And we got uh, the, the uh, mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. And those were sides and they're, this is a, like, this is a splurge for us. This restaurant is very expensive. And so we were ordering the sides. He was like, honestly, they're shareable. They're yeah, like, don't okay, order I'm more than one. I'm glad you said that yeah. because they are they really, yeah, that's shareable. Massive. I, yeah. Even still, I don't know between two of us we're going to no, eat I all those. I don't know. Yeah. So we've never watched this thing land. And I'm like, I would be totally seasick. It, but it's not really that windy. Oh, did you see lightning? But also the reflection they were like here. A 45 degree angle a second ago. Yeah, they really were. But also the reflection is really cool too, just to like watch it land. Yeah, I did. I don't know that it's going to rain. It might just be like heat lightning or something. We're in Disney style right now. Dinner was fantastic. It's, yeah, this is one of my favorite shows. There's so much. I finish the other half of my drink. I was like, I literally <laughs> it's cannot. It's too much. There's so much good stuff here though. There's so much. Oh my, I want like, there's stuff that you can only so get here. with nothing because I can't. The old Skyliner bucket up there. There's just stuff I feel like you get here that you can't get anywhere else. So here's a new thing we haven't done yet going into the M&M store. It's brand new. Shall we go? You see that? All the different colors along. Wow. That's cute. That's so fun. They all taste the same, right? <laughs> Yes. No, I'm needing reassurance. Yes, yes, they all do. We should get some. Do they have? Ooh. It's gonna be blue every time. Do they have dark chocolate peanut M and M's? That's my jam. That is Let's see if we can find it. Oh my gosh, this is so fun though. Wow. I feel like I'm in Times Square, New York. <laughs> Look at that wall of M and M's. Goodness gracious, that's fantastic. They got all this cool pride stuff here too. Oh, it's great. This is a fun story. Like Jessica was just saying, it, like this is perfect for Disney Springs. This is exactly what they needed. Yeah. And I think it's, it's fun. It fits in so well here with everything else they have. It does. Also, though, I was like, this replaced, we think, half of Disney Quest. Disney Quest, yeah. Time. That was on the spot. The NBA experience next door yeah, in this. Yeah, so kind of... But I'm like, oh, and this is, this is probably better, like better use of the space. But I would pay a lot of money. Ah! Do that magnetize? My magnet, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's the thing that like holds your bag up in the bathroom. Hey, the magnet works though. Yeah. Anyway, I would give a lot of money to do Disney Quest again from like eight, ten years ago. It was weird and old and it needed to go. Oh, uh, we, we did it a lot and we hated it every like, time. We always felt sick leaving because there's a lot of like old school virtual reality that was really yeah. bad virtual reality and but we I always left. just like see it again. I bet yeah. there's a YouTube video. Oh, um, I'm sure, yes. Well, we have videos of it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but like I want a video <laughs> Like a walkthrough. Walk yeah. yeah, oh, I'm sure there is. And I, but I feel like we did it and we would always leave feeling like sick. Oh. We felt awful. Yeah. Because it was bad. I, I remember they had these things that like it stuck out this far from your head and it was virtual reality and so you, like, and it was like a, it was like Aladdin's ma yeah Aladdin magic carpet rides or whatever but it was this huge binocular thing that came out this far and you would turn your whole head would turn it and it was awful but, but see, that's and you felt so nostalgia. sick <laughs> you never like everything is so much more glowing than it was in real life and you know it that but being it's still elevated. that being said I still prefer the Eminem store over the uh Disney Quest. Nostalgia aside, definitely better. Uh, yeah, it's probably better. So dark. So dark. Let's see if I can hold on. Pick it up. Here we go. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, so we're ending our night here. We we're at the uh, the dockside market. We were here earlier, but we wanted to sit on the water. Yeah. And just look out. Show them what we got, Bill. So we're just looking out over the water here. There's Rainforest Cafe and Paddlefish. There's the uh, Disney Balloon way up there. T-Rex over there. I was like, is that Everest? What is the two that? mountains so of uh, Disney Springs here, both by, I think it's Landry's, who also uh, own Yak and Yeti in Disney's no, Animal Kingdom. No, it can't Kingdom. be Landry's. That's is the it? place we always went in like Florida growing up, in like Pensacola. I think it's Landry's. All right, pause, like pause for a Google search. I'm pretty sure Landry's opens 
uh, or runs T Rex, Rainforest Cafe, and Yak and Yeti. Look it up. Who, who it runs up. Yak and Yeti? Landry's. Hold on. Well, now I want to know who else they run. I, th I guess you're right. I'm surprised because that really is. Um, I thought you were like jokingly saying that. Like, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Del Frisco, Morton Steakhouse. Wow. Chart House. What? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? What what joke don't you I get? with an S, not a C. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, all right, we're gonna end the night here. Uh, yes. We're just gonna McCormick look out and here. McCormick Landry's, and Schmicks. McCormick yeah. Okay. King Ranch, Texas. Now I'm just here. Bubba Gump Shrimp. Gosh, they're making money, honey. <laughs> that is a lot, and that kept going. I yeah. Just... All right. Anyway, on that note, love you guys. See you guys later. Tomorrow's See you tomorrow. Birthday. And it's Magic Kingdom Day. I'm gonna leave you guys with this 30 seconds of uh, looking out here at the water. You ready? I'm gonna set my phone right here. And we're gonna be quiet oh, for 30 it. seconds. Please, I'm gonna be very quiet and right drop it. All right, enjoy this. Bye, guys. I'm still here. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> this is incredible. All right, so quick tag here. We decided to do a uh, a uh, Lyft or an Uber, whatever it is, uh, because we are, we went to the bus stop and there was, I mean, it had to have been eight, people? Eight, eight buses long to Maybe try and get. Maybe more, because yeah. with everything going on, they're They're, they're only having people out. sit on the buses, no, nobody else. Um, so we walked to the very, very far end. That's Lanuba, or not Behind Lanuba this, anymore. Yeah. yeah, that's the old Cirque du Soleil area. That's gonna be a new Cirque du Soleil area. But we had to walk all the way to the opposite end. And we're like, gosh, it's so interesting because Disney's like, oh, we're getting Magical Express. Or we're getting rid of Magical Express because, oh, they, we have all these great options now for Uber and Lyft and that and this, that, and the other. But they make Uber and Lyft at least so at hard to Springs, get to. So inconvenient. This, we were in the middle. No, we, we were closer to the west side. We nearly another mile. Side. We're at the west to side get thing here. and we walked like We're not complaining. We're just yeah. stating. I think this is what happened today. <laughs>